So, are you here for vacation? Yes, that's why I came here to meet Jungkook. I thought Jungkook could accompany me for a stroll while I'm in Seoul. Oh, by the way, I didn't know he got married here. He didn't inform me. Yin stared intently at Mona. It seemed Yin wasn't ignorant enough to not understand the real motive behind Mona's words. Clearly, this woman wasn't good for Yin. All right. It seemed like Yin would play along with this woman's game. Well, maybe he didn't tell you because our marriage was sudden, so he only informed important people. Right, hubby? Yes. Our marriage was sudden and I forgot to inform you. Oh yeah, you said you wanted to vacation here. What are your plans for tomorrow? I'll leave it to Jungkook to decide because only he can accompany me. To be honest, Yin was growing more and more disgusted with the woman in front of her. Didn't this woman know and understand proper etiquette towards a married man? I'm sorry Mona, as I mentioned earlier, lately I've been very busy, so I can't accompany you. How about my wife, Yin? Would you like to accompany Mona? I'm sorry hubby, I'm also busy because I have a meeting scheduled with my old friends. So what should we do? I deliberately came here to vacation and I really hope for you. Jungkook, after all, we haven't seen each other for a long time. My father just passed away. Don't you have any pity for me? Yin began to realize that the woman in front of her was becoming dramatic and it was truly disgusting to her. But there was also something that made Yin dislike it. Why was her husband behaving differently towards Mona? It's not like her husband to be so friendly towards others, especially towards a woman but towards Mona. He was clearly different. Who is Mona, really? Did they have a relationship before? Why couldn't Jungkook be as cold as he usually is towards other women? Yin had seen herself. It was clear that this woman was getting different treatment from him. How about I offer one of my guards to accompany you? What? Accompanied by a guard? That would definitely make me uncomfortable. Don't you have any friends in Seoul? No. All my friends are in Bizen. In that case, why don't you go to Bizen instead of Seoul so you'll have friends to accompany you? I came to Seoul on purpose because I also wanted to meet Jungkook. I'm sorry Mona, but I'm busy. This woman seems to have no sense of boundaries. But I don't know anyone else here besides you, Jungkook. Enough, it seems Yin can't stand this woman's whining anymore who seems completely unaware of herself in front of her husband. It seems this woman really needs to be confronted openly, can't just stay silent like this. Mona, you can't behave like this in front of a married man. I don't know what your relationship with Jungkook was like in Italy, but back then, he was clearly single and not married. You can't act like that now because he's married. Okay, Jungkook is quite aware of the intense situation at the moment. He can tell that his wife is starting to be disturbed by Mona's presence. On the other hand, he also doesn't want any argument between his wife and Mona someone he considers to have once been helpful in his life. Here's the deal, Mona. I can't accompany you because I'm busy, and even if I could, I'd bring my wife along. We'll go out together but the problem is my wife is also apparently busy right now. So what I can do for you right now is provide some guards to accompany you wherever you want to go in Seoul. Yes, I think that's the best solution. But I... No buts anymore, Mona. That's what we can do for you. Please mind your manners and don't demand too much from a man who already has a wife. Jungkook. Do you see your wife? It's like she sees me as if I want to take you away from her. Huh? It's alright. I'm sorry, Mona. I hope you should understand that I'm already married now. But I also don't want any commotion here. That's why I'm still thinking about you. If you don't want to be accompanied by guards, then you should go to Bizen. Invite your friends to gather. That's the best solution. You're the one who's changed, Jungkook. Why are you like this to me now? Huh? What does this woman mean? She's really making my emotions want to explode. Of course I've changed. I'm not the same as before. Now I have a wife. Alright then. I don't want to cause trouble here either. I understand your situation now. So, I'll take my leave. Yes. Mona stood up immediately and walked out of the room while Yin completely ignored her. Her face clearly showed anger, and Jungkook was perceptive enough to understand his wife's current situation. Baby. Slowly, Jungkook began to gently hold his wife's hand. He knew Yin was trying to contain her emotions and was also trying to calm her down. Who is she? She's my friend from Italy. Just a friend. I don't believe she's just a friend. There must be something more special about her, right? Why would you think that? You treat her very differently. I've met your other female friends and this time, you're different. Do you really think so? You can't be cold with her and seem very patient when dealing with her. It was evident that Yin's tone was filled with displeasure as she spoke. Tell me, who is she really? I have the right to know. She, she is my friend but she is indeed different from my other friends. Yin, hearing this, was truly upset. It confirmed her suspicion. Their relationship was not as simple as it seemed, and Yin was really annoyed by this fact. Is she your ex? No. Did you ever like her? Or did she ever like you? 
I never liked her, she was just my friend. But if you say she liked me, yes, it seems that way. Oh, so she liked you? Just as I suspected. In that case, stay away from her. I don't want her near you from now on. I can't do that. Why? Do you secretly like her too? No, I don't like her at all, but I owe her my life. What do you mean? Did she save your life? Yes. When I was in Italy, I was injured in a confrontation with some enemies. They shot me and I lost a lot of blood. I was taken to the hospital, but the supply of type B blood was very low. Even after searching other hospitals, there was none available. Only two bags were available, but I needed about four to five bags. There was no supply of type B blood in any hospital. That's when I received her blood. It just so happened that she also had type B blood. The doctor said a considerable amount of blood was taken from her to transfuse into me. So that's why you owe her your life. If that's the case, she loves you. Why didn't you just marry her? But I don't love her. Even though I can't reciprocate her feelings, I still remember the debt I owe her. That shouldn't be considered a debt if you paid her for the blood, just like buying blood from the hospital. But at that time, she refused to accept any money from me, no matter how much I offered. This means I still owe her a debt of gratitude. Her blood saved me from death, and I couldn't repay that with money back then. Hearing her his explanation, Yin sighed softly. It turned out their relationship wasn't as simple as she thought. Yin understood the importance of someone's help but that didn't mean the woman could disregard Jungkook's current marital status. That woman still had to respect that Jungkook was now married. Jungkook was a husband, and Mona needed to acknowledge that. That was what Yin was thinking at that moment. The next day, Today, Yin decided to visit her husband's office with the intention of having lunch together. All the office employees knew who Yin was. They bowed respectfully and smiled at the wife of their big boss. Yin responded to their greetings with a slight smile. Eventually, she reached the floor where her husband's private office was located. As usual, several guards were present in the area. Her presence naturally drew the attention of the guards, and they bowed and greeted her respectfully. Yin responded with a brief nod and a slight smile. Once again, when she arrived in front of Jungkook's office, the door was wide open, unlike usual. Yin continued to approach and entered the room, and once again, the woman was there. Mona was sitting right in front of Jungkook's desk, who seemed busy working. As soon as the sound of Yin's high heels was heard entering the room, Jungkook and Mona immediately turned their attention to her. Oh, baby, you came this afternoon? Yin did not answer, her steps still approaching Jungkook's desk, while her gaze was sharp and directed at Mona. Meanwhile, Mona seemed to roll her eyes. Okay. It seemed that Mona was now starting to get annoyed by her presence that kept interrupting her time with Jungkook. Yin. She could read Mona's body language, which clearly showed her dislike for her presence. A small smirk now appeared on Yin's lips. So, you really want to play with me? Hum. Yin continued to walk calmly past Mona, who was sitting there, and directly approached Jungkook, standing next to her husband. Then she bent down and briefly kissed her husband's lips. As usual. I want us to have lunch together this afternoon, but... Yin now glanced briefly at Mona, who was clearly staring at them with a sharp and displeased look. But, I want it to be just the two of us, with no one else intruding. Jungkook noticed the intense atmosphere currently in the room. Alright, if there's nothing else you want to discuss with me. I'm sorry Mona, I don't mean to ask you to leave, but it's lunchtime, and I'm going out with my wife. But I haven't had lunch yet, Jungkook. And as I mentioned earlier, that's why I came to your office so we could have lunch together. Sorry, I don't mean to reject your invitation, but it seems my wife needs some privacy for the two of us right now. So it's not that I don't want to invite you as well, but it all depends on my wife. Yes, I don't want our lunch to be disturbed, sorry Mona. Jungkook, am I being considered a disturbance here? Yes, you are very disturbing if you join us, because I only want to be alone and intimate with my husband. But don't you have plenty of time for that at home? But okay, if I'm considered a disturbance, I should leave now. Sorry, Jungkook, for bothering you. Once again you disappoint me. After saying that, Mona immediately stood up and hurriedly walked out of the room. Yin, who heard Mona's last words, was really angry. What did she mean by saying that? Jungkook disappointed her? If that's the case, so what? After all, it's not Jungkook's job to make her happy. Who does she think Jungkook is? Her husband? Truly a crazy woman. Yin kept grumbling in her heart, really angry at Mona's actions, which she thought were getting bolder and more blatant. Why could she come to your office? She has known about my office for a long time. When her father was still alive, they visited here. And at that time my father was still leading this company. 
And earlier, she suddenly called my phone and said she was already in the lobby. That's why I asked her to come here, because I didn't have time to go down. And it turned out she wanted to invite me to lunch, but I already declined and told her I was busy and had a lot of work. Can't she stop approaching you? I actually don't want to forbid you because she has her place in your life. But that doesn't mean she can be a disturbance in our marriage. Baby, just calm down, okay? I know how to handle this. I can't avoid her entirely because she is different from my other female friends. But I know, I won't fall into any of her plans. Yin took a deep breath. Should she understand Jungkook's situation now? All this time she only cared about her own feelings and didn't consider his situation. What if she were in Jungkook's position now? Is she being selfish as a wife? Okay then, let's have lunch now. Let's go. Jungkook immediately stood up and wrapped his arm around his wife's slim waist. They walked out of the office, heading to a restaurant where they usually had lunch together. Today is Sunday. Like most Sundays, Jungkook spends his time with Yin, whether at home or out and about. However, they haven't yet decided what to do today. Jungkook woke up first and is currently in the bathroom washing his face and brushing his teeth, cleaning himself up. Meanwhile, Yin is just beginning to wake up from her sleep. Slowly, she opens her eyes and reaches out to the spot where her husband usually lies, finding it empty, indicating he has already gotten up. Not long after, she hears the sound of water splashing from the bathroom. She now opens her eyes fully and tries to sit up on the edge of the bed, gathering her consciousness. She then takes a glass of water from the nightstand and drinks a few sips, washing away the bitter taste in her mouth. She opens the jar next to the glass, which contains biscuits, takes one and starts eating it while occasionally sipping the water. However, her attention soon shifts to the sound of a ringing phone. She looks over at her husband's phone on the nightstand. She frowns, curious about who might be calling her husband so early on a Sunday morning. Finally, she grabs Jungkook's phone, and her face instantly twists with anger when she sees Mona's name on the screen. That damn woman. Without thinking, Yin answers the call, pressing the phone to her ear without saying a word. Soon, she hears a voice from the other end. Jungkook, can you accompany me for a walk today? Besides, it's Sunday, so you're not going to the office and aren't busy right? He indeed isn't busy and won't be going to the office today. But I won't let him spend time with you. Yin, why are you answering his phone? Where is Jungkook? Give the phone to him. 